conjure up in your imagination a race of people 700 years old. Draw a mental picture of one of them. Make him seven feet tall and of perfect physique. Let him be strong but ignorant. Make him one of a race which at 35 years was growing old and at 40 was near death. Finally, give him horns. About an inch long protruding from the skull about two inches above the ears. This was an excerpt of a newspaper from 1916 in regards to a discovery made years prior. The finding was made by a group of Americans led by W.K. Moorhead, Dr. G.P. Donahoe, and A.B. Skinner of Philadelphia's American Investigating Museum in the 1880s. Rumors around the area were spreading along Sayre, Pennsylvania of devilish looking apparitions, creatures that towered over all those who saw them. The townspeople were no doubt terrified. But this group of researchers ignored the townspeople's warnings and ventured forth on their mission to uncover ancient graves. Eventually, they had set their eyes upon a large, primitive burial mound that was thought to have been made in the early 1200s. No doubt excited about their find, they immediately began to excavate. What they found inside must have unsettled them. It was reported that the group of Americans discovered seven strange-looking humanoid skulls and remains. Upon inspection, the skeletons were anatomically correct for the average human, except for their height and skulls. Even for today's standards, they were abnormally tall. They would have towered over others with their seven-foot bodies. That alone would have been noteworthy, but that wasn't the only strange thing about them. Things got weirder when the excavators discovered that the beings had two bones projecting out of their skulls that formed into horns. They were placed roughly two inches above their eyebrows and ears. The horn sizes ranged from one inch to four inches in length. Now the group of excavators were horrified of what they had found. The rumors of devilish shadow cloaked titans now had some merit. They did their best to try and categorize and study what they could while they were on scene. First they decided that these beings had to be classified as giants, as all humanoids above seven feet tall have to be labeled as that. Secondly, the scientists estimated that the bodies had to have been buried around 1200 AD. And finally, they determined that the lifespan for these ancient beings only lasted until 40 years of age on average. This meant that they would have grown fast and strong in their short lives. All of this astounded the researchers, as this meant this could be a relative of human being rather than a human themselves, something that was closely related to us, but far removed. As the time passed, they decided that this was all that could be done from where they were, so they packed up the horn giant's remains and sent them down to the American Investigating Museum in Philadelphia. However, the artifacts almost immediately disappeared upon arrival. Some claimed theft. Others say they were hidden by the powers that be, and even more claim the bodies had returned to wherever they had come from. All that's truly known is that the seven devilish looking bodies is that they vanished one night at a museum and were never seen from again. I hope you enjoyed that story of the Horan Giants from the 1880s, and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. It'll support me and will encourage me to do some more research about more unexplained and unsolved things out in the world.